test is maybe you guys want to call it on going one year without BCAs okay your body does not know what it is no more and then finally taking for a week straight BCAs I have been taking this for one week and I have not taken BCAs a year prior to taking this so some pretty shocking findings and uh, I want to share them with you so before I tell you what I found out the last week by taking them I want to first go over a review quickly on the Hydra Amino TC Nutrition EAAs, which is their BCAA formula, essential amino acids, right here. Okay, so they come in three different types of flavors. By the way, guys, their link, um, or sorry, where you can buy their product is going to be down in below, and I'm also going to link five BCAs that I recommend that are priced very well on Amazon right now, and you can check those out as well in the description. They gave me the option to choose between watermelon candy which I have right here, which I chose. They also have fuzzy peach, which I have right here. And they also have blue slushy. I was debating between these two, but in the end, I've tried blue before. I wanted to go a little bit, a little sweeter watermelon candy. You got eight, gra eight grams of essential amino acids, which is very high, very good. Three grams of glutamine, good for recovery. And then they got 600 milligrams of electrolytes. Now. Just off the bat guys, this is huge. 45 servings in here in this big tub. And what I wanna say first is just off the front, 600 milligrams of electrolytes. You don't usually see electrolytes in BCAs and that's why I really recommend this product. If you're gonna go for a BCAs, get some electrolytes. It's good during the workout. That's exactly what BCAs are for, during a workout. Similar to a Gatorade, but that's filled with sugar and carbs. I don't believe there's any sugar and carbs in here. If there is, very minimal. Um, but the electrolytes help you through your workout. When you're getting fatigued, they help you. One scoop, which is 13.5 grams, you got some sodium, you got some coconut water, another thing you barely see in BCAs these days, so it's good for hydration. You got potassium, just like banana, as I mentioned. You got magnesium and calcium. Now you got leucine, isoleucine, valine, glutamine, lysine, three o, I don't even know how to pronounce this stuff now, guys. The list goes on and on. All these L dash, they're all essential amino acids. So there's another thing. It's got the electrolytes, it's got the coconut water, and then it also has like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten different essential amino acids. In a regular BCAs, you'll see three or four, the basics, you know, leucine, isoleucine, valine. You'll never see the rest. You won't usually see a coconut water, and you won't really see 600 milligrams of, of uh, of electrolytes. What I can think is there's 600 milligrams of electrolytes is composed of those first five things. Coconut water, potassium, and all the rest. So that's what I'm thinking there. On to the taste test, guys. 
as I mentioned, if you're gonna buy BCAs, you want something that tastes good. You don't wanna buy a BCAs, first of all, when you don't really even need them, and then have a shitty tasting BCAs. What I can say about the watermelon candy guys, by the way, these are all dye free. If you don't know what dye free is, it means they don't dye it with colors. So when you pour this into water, it's gonna be white. When you pour this into water, it's gonna be white. When you pour this into water, it's going to be white. They don't have any dyes. I don't know if there's a benefit or a, or a non-benefit of having dye free, um, but what I can think on top of my head is less chemicals. I'm sure chemicals is what flavor, or sorry, not flavors, but um, colors the actual BCA. So that could be something else that's good about TC Nutrition BCAs. So into the flavor profile, watermelon candy, off the top guys, I'm gonna be very honest, okay? I only took half a scoop because I thought it was gonna be very, very sweet. I took half a scoop, it tasted like water. Just gonna be honest. I took one scoop, which they recommend, maybe I shouldn't have taken half a scoop. Then you start feeling that flavor kick in, that watermelon candy. Now to compare it to a, a watermelon um, flavored candy at like a little corner store, it tastes exactly like it. Sweetness, on point. Flavor, on point. One scoop or one, one and a half scoops, I would probably recommend. So if you wanna to go to that sweeter side, I'd go one and a half scoops. If you don't want it to be too sweet, I'd go one scoop. All right guys, so because it's YouTube and because I love you guys so much, I know this sounds stupid, but I'm, I'm not even working out right now and I'm gonna open this for you to do a taste test live on camera. I'm also gonna be uh, doing a taste test for the fuzzy peach and the blue slushy. I got two equal amounts of water right here, okay? Give me one second, I'll open these bad boys up. All right guys, just to prove my point, dye free, no color, kind of like a hazy cloudy look, but it's in your cup anyways, but just want to prove the point it is dye free. Just from the smell, fuzzy peach, smells exactly like fuzzy peach. Blue slushy kind of smells like a blue rasp. Let's go in, dive right in with a fuzzy peach. Exact taste like fuzzy peach. Wow, that's good. Blue slushy. Pretty close to a blue slushy, honestly. Like you get a Slurpee or something from a gas station. But it's hard not to make it taste like blue raz. So it's on the fence of blue raz, blue slushy. Great job on both flavors. Watermelon candy, I still think is my honest best flavor if I had to rate it. Watermelon candy number one, fuzzy peach number two, blue slushy number three, only because I'm not a big blue raz guy. And I kind of get like that after like maybe days and days and maybe even weeks taking it, I probably get tired of it but I think the other two I would not get tired of. All right, people, so I've gone over TC Nutrition's review. I've gone over the two other flavors. Now it's time for what you've all been waiting for. Do BCAs do anything? And I'm not just speaking on the topic. I'm speaking because I went one year without taking BCAs and then boom, I took BCAs for a week straight. And there's one thing I can tell you that I believe is the cruncher. How can I say this? Without taking BCAs, you would either take water during the gym, a Gatorade, splash some meal flavors in there, whatever it is to drink water. You need fluids throughout your workout. The second you add BCAs and substitute those others, I felt after one year of not taking it, way more energy. Now, not energy like I could push more weight. I meant energy like endurance energy, like hydration energy, like I was hydrated and I could feel like I wasn't getting fatigued as fast. Now, I wanna probably point that to the electrolytes, okay, or the coconut water. I just felt like I had water in me and I was just very hydrated. I felt like my workouts were better because of this. I wasn't getting as tired with the fifth, sixth, or seventh exercise. And after the gym and throughout the day, I just felt like I had more water in me. Water intake is very important. And I think that if you can have a coconut water or um, as they mentioned, electrolytes through your workout, I think it's better. It's better than the meal or, the, or just plain water. So if you're gonna buy BCAs guys, it's not a main thing like I mentioned before, but if you're gonna buy it, go with TC Nutrition's or go with the other five best BCAs that I recommend on sale right now in Amazon or on Amazon. Link in the description to all five, and this one, so six total. And pick up some BCAs for those reasons. If you don't have the money, don't buy BCAs. I'm not pressuring you guys to buy BCAs. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. As I mentioned guys, if you've been following along, I'm almost at a thousand subscribers. Let's get me there. Maybe I'll do a, a 1,000 subscriber giveaway. I'm not too sure. It's a huge milestone for me, and it just, 
if you can just subscribe, it's free. It supports me, it supports the channel. If you guys like this health, lifestyle, uh, fitness channel, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care, love you.